Well, Halloween is up. Spooky season is here. And I know it's not October yet, but fuck, we need this. Yeah. But the kids can't. Yes, they can. Dan has actually worked out a contact free trick or treat system. We're doing a whole Beetlejuice thing. Does it involve so a catapult? No. no. He's going to get a big PVC pipe and paint it like a sandworm. And we're just going to send candy down the tube. As well as shots of liquor for, for the parents. For the adults. So they don't even have to leave the street. You're putting an extraordinary amount into this, I must say. He's an old goth. Halloween is like his high holy day. <laughs> and it's been two years since I've been able to do Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> then, I was in Night. Dubai a couple of years ago, so... Night. Pandemic, screw it! I don't care. So he's like, Night. we're having Halloween, I don't give a f la la. So like, our neighborhood has a little Facebook group. We're going to put it out and be like, look, I don't care if you're trick-or-treating anywhere else. Come to our house. We have contact free. We will give your kid candy and we will give you a little bit of booze. And full size candy bars. Yeah. We're going hard. See, I would I would have gone with the trebuchet, but you know, that's me. I don't want to give him those kinds of ideas. Just like put I like one of those. 20 pounds of candy in there and just fling it at the children. But he got the house all set up last night and like he has this projector <laughs> that makes you could project you know, it's a DVD of ghosts. He hooks it up with his laptop. So he put that. We have an upstairs window facing the street. So there's this ghost that like floats around and screams. And we had a couple of neighbors out walking their dog when he set it up. And they were like, he thought that was real. <laughs> Who like, wouldn't right crazy. now? This year, someone, someone down the street screaming. Right? You're just like, yeah, that that's it. That sounds about right. That's part of the course. Me, me too, man. Me too. Me too. Yeah. That, that, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> they had this little Pomeranian who did not enjoy it at all. <laughs> Pomeranians don't enjoy much. They're Pomeranians. Yeah. They have to be Pomeranians. <laughs> if you had to be a Pomeranian, you, you wouldn't enjoy things either. I don't know. Maybe if I was one of the ones from Blade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. That, that was. I don't even know how that works. That stupid movie. All right. Like there's like two people watching this who understand that reference. Everybody else is like, "What? Come on, Blade Trinity!" <laughs> like the movie that got Ryan Reynolds Deadpool because yeah. he basically was playing Deadpool. <laughs> he was playing a hot Deadpool. <sighs> yeah, anyway, my hair is really flat today. <laughs> All right, let's get this started. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring it back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And you sent me the first one. Also, a whole bunch of other people sent me this story. Um, got a lot of car stories this week. A lot of cars, a lot of stuff happening on the roads, which surprising people should be staying the fuck home. Um, well, you know, if you stay in your car, like we've been doing that. We've been just going out and taking a drive because that's a thing you can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this this is this is this, this didn't work out quite that way. Um, woman told officer, "I have to poop so bad before high speed chase." I th this is a saga. I'm gonna warn you. Like you don't think that sounds so bad? Like when you gotta go, you gotta go, right? But that wasn't even the third excuse, I don't think. No, we're, we're going to go into this, folks. Brace yourselves. This, have a seat, get a drink. This is going to take a while. This is like a this is like you know, a Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings film, okay? It's an opera. <clears throat> an Oklahoma woman who refused to cooperate during a traffic stop sparked a high-speed chase and guns being drawn. 28-year-old Emily Owings was initially pulled over for not wearing her seatbelt. All right, keep that in mind small thing yeah but she also didn't have a license for her insurance okay you know sometimes I've, I've left the house without my wallet too you know i got pulled over once with a suspended license no insurance in a car with an expired registration it's it's not so Sucked bad for me the only form of identification she had on her 
was her medical marijuana card. <laughs> Didn't do that. <laughs> Your license is suspended, the officer said. Why, Owings asked. I don't know, the officer said. I didn't know that, Owings said. Now I'm waiting to see if you have any warrants through Woods County. Now that's something they, they, they'll fucking run your name through their system. If you have any outstanding warrants, they got you right there. That's just standard. That's the thing that they do. So I would have, a, I would, my response to that would be, okay, you know, try to be quiet. Just let things go by. Yeah. No, no. She says, but I have to poop so bad. Okay, where did you think I was going? The officer asked. It's my birthday, Owig said. So, okay, the poop play has failed. So right. we're shifting to... The kindergarten play. This is like, it's but it's not like, you know, when you go to, to, to the restaurant and they tell the waiters it's your birthday and everybody claps and brings out cake. That's not how that works with the cops. He doesn't have a cake in the back of that car. He does it. Um, oh, sombrero. <laughs> Police then discovered there was a warrant out for her arrest for allegedly fighting an officer. Why won't you just let me go, Owings asked. Because your license is suspended, the officer said. She's and not you have an open warrant. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't know. Otherwise, I won't drive no more. But can I please go home and go poop? <laughs> She's still no. still on the poop. The officer then called for backup. If I can get you to step out of the vehicle for me, are you going to arrest me? You're under arrest. Are you kidding me? Why? I don't think some of these concepts are clicking here. No. You have warrants in Woods County and they're coming to get you, the officer said. No, they are not, Owing said. Fuck you guys. Shit, and only a white lady would even conceive of saying to a cop, by o the way. Owings put the key in the ignition and sped off. The pursuit lasted for several blocks with speed stopping 70 miles an hour. Owings say, uh, police say Owings blew through stop signs and a school zone. They eventually stopped and surrendered when officers pointed their guns at her. Owings would not let the subject drop that she was cuffed and brought to the squad car. Can I poop in your car, man? You could have already been on your way to jail, the officer said. Yeah, Owings said, but not pooping. Here's a little coda on the end. Police searched Owings' car and found a pipe with meth inside it. He's booked into the Garfield County Detention Center and faces several felony charges. So like that time when I was pulled over driving three different kinds of illegally, I knew I was fucked. Yeah. And I just cooperated. And I mean, I probably should have been arrested, but I'm a nice white lady. So they were like, you here's a court summons, have it fixed by your court date. I also didn't have drugs in my car. No, no math. Uh, I didn't argue with the cops. You didn't insist you had to poop? No, and I didn't just take the fuck off. Or, or, or I just with, went, well, you fucking got me. Or, I'm an idiot. Like, the cops are coming to get you on a warrant. No, they're not. That's not... What? Again, shit only a white lady would even consider saying. The audacity going on yeah. here. I just... How did... I... Meth is bad for you, kids. I mean, like, I knew I was fucked, and I just accepted that I was fucked. Because sometimes that's life. Everybody always always used to say oh, this is the marijuana was going to ruin you. That that you're going to make you stupid and whatnot. And you know, I know a lot of people who smoke marijuana. They tend to be fairly cool people and not really yeah. not very stupid at all. Yeah. But the meth that'll fuck you. That's that's anything that that that's combined out of chemicals that you mix together the potential of creating a toxic. That needs a fucking cleanup crew and a fucking hazard shower. You know what's a worse drug than meth? Entitlement. <laughs> they're coming to arrest you. There's a warrant. No, they're not. Fuck you. <laughs> Girl. It's not optional. It's not. Yeah, they're not. They it's want not a men, It's not a menu. Fucker wasn't asking. That's a thing that is happening. 
whether you like it or not. <laughs> no, they're not. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys never works. No. Very rarely does fuck you guys make a cop go, you know what? She has a point. You're right. You can go. Yeah. But that even that one, she's got the excuse of, well, one, she's very stupid, but also drugs. So, you know, maybe that. This guy does it. And, you know, it was her birthday. It was her birthday. Yeah. Um, This guy does it. All right. How familiar are you with the uh, the Tesla and, and their autopilot system? Uh, not really. Well, it's it's this system they've invented that they call autopilot and they probably shouldn't because what it does is for a you have to stay in charge of it, but it can keep the car going on a straightaway. It's not going to drive the car for you, but it will steer and, and slow down and move up a little bit like on the highway. So they're selling you the car from iRobot. Kinda. But really, you're just getting what every other car has now, which is like it's, lane flip protection. It's like it's like a really, really, really extensive uh, cruise control is what it is. You know, really, it really complicated and expensive cruise control. This is this is this is not how that. Oh, dear. Oh, fucking dear. Canada Tesla driver charged over napping while speeding. An Canadian man has been charged with dangerous driving for allegedly taking a nap while his self-driving Tesla car clocked up more than 90 miles per hour. Police said both front seats were fully reclined and the driver and, pa and passenger were apparently asleep. They were alerted to the incident in Alberta. When police turned on emergency lights and other vehicles moved out of their way, the Tesla Model S sped up. 20 so year old. Tesla's about fuck the police? Well, probably that he woke, he heard the lights flailing and he put his foot down on the gas. The 20 year old, 20 years old, 20 year old driver from British Columbia is due in court in December. Okay. How are you 20 and can afford a Tesla? Mommy, daddy. Fuck you. <laughs> Um, he initially been charged with speeding and had a 24 hour license suspension for fatigue, but was subsequently charged with dangerous driving. Nobody was looking out the windshield to see where the car was going. Police Sergeant uh, Derry Turnbull told police. He said when they put on their emergency lights, the Tesla accelerated the vehicles ahead of it moving out of the way. Nobody appeared to be in the car. The vehicle sped up because the line was cleared front. Um, he said, I've been in policing over 23 years, the majority of that in traffic law enforcement, and I'm speechless. I've never, ever seen anything like this, but of course, the technology wasn't there. Tesla car is currently operating at a level two autopilot, which requires the driver to remain alert and ready to act with hands on the wheel. However, there are many small problems that would need solving through real world testing. I'm just going to trust Elon Musk that much, huh? <laughs> Yeah, he's, he seems like a good, stable sort of individual. Oh. Like, I don't care if they if they ever do really perfect the self-driving car. And I am 100% that passenger that sleeps through every trip. Ten minutes in the car, I'm the fuck out, and he's on his own. I slept mm. most of the way from Jersey to Colorado. We made a deal that I would have to stay awake through Kansas, because otherwise we'd both die. Because it's just that boring. But even if they perfect the self-driving car, it's going to take me a while as the driver to feel comfortable with that. Like, at no point, if I get my first self-driving car, am I just going to be like, you got this. Elon, take the wheel. No! I'm, I, you know what? I, I'm going to be that old guy who's never going to set foot in a self-driving car. And it's not because I don't have faith in technology. It's because... I don't have faith in motherfuckers like Elon Musk. Yeah. They've ruined also, that shit just, for me. Also, I just don't trust the robots. <laughs> See, I do trust the robots. If there were just robots involved, I would be great. But it's not just robots. It's that I don't fucking... trust the robots. But I feel like we're going to get to a point where we don't have a choice but to be in a self-driving car. Uh, you know, uh, like some people didn't used to want a microwave. Oh, Tara. You're you're thinking we're going to have a future. That's, <laughs> that's precious. That's that's, that's true. Humanity is going to be gone by then. Yeah. Um. 
it'll be cockroaches running this bitch. But uh, and Keith Richards. <laughs> so even sleeping in the car, that's that that's that's pretty. But it gets worse, of course it does. Another car story. This one comes out of uh from England. Um fucking social media, I swear to God. Yeah, I, I say this as I'm on Twitter, but Instagram and Snapchat are shit I do not get. Instagram well, I like and Instagram. Yeah, but okay. Not that I don't get the pre- I understand the premise. And and all again, that. I'm on everything. I fucking love social media. I'm on everything. It's it's the links that that like that that people fucking go to. For example, yeah, I mostly just post pictures of my cats. Woman falls from car on M25 filming Snapchat video. <laughs> She's fine. Amazingly. Woman That's not up. the good omens highway, is it? I don't I I don't know. Which I, someone in the chat will, will know if that's the good omens one. A woman fell out of a moving car on the M25 while leaning out of the window to film a video for Snapchat. She fell from the car into a live lane between Junction 6 and the Clackett Lane services. The woman was not badly hurt, but police says it was lucky she wasn't seriously injured or killed. She was treated at the scene by paramedics. No arrests were made. In a post on Twitter, the Rhodes Policing Unit said the front seat passenger was hanging out of the car while filming a Snapchat video along the M25. She then fell out of the car and into a live lane. It was only by luck she wasn't seriously injured or killed. But, like, um, why? It is? Is that, par- is that the one from... That is the well, good there you go. Okay. That explains it. It was just the evil. Like, we went, we went to see one of the days, one of our little quarantine activities, we took a drive to see Blucifer. The famous Denver International Airport demon horse. (laughs) We drove an hour just to drive by this stupid fucking horse because there's nothing else to do. (laughs) And we drove by, we turned around and drove by it like three times. And I was like, I'm going to make a TikTok about going to see Blucifer. And we didn't have a great view. So the TikTok came out kind of shaky and bad. But I'd rather make a shitty TikTok than hang out of the car like Tawny fucking Katane. I just could think it's like, you know, Dan, drop the window. I'm going out. No. Like, especially yeah. since Lucifer has already claimed. Again. <laughs> especially since Lucifer has already claimed one life. He's not getting mine. Get a drone. If you want to film, yeah. they, you can get drones are like five cents. You go to Home Depot, you get like you get one free with purchase. Drones are fucking everywhere. Get a fucking drone. It's, it's or just, you know, maybe you don't need to make that Snapchat. Is it that important? I, I have never there has never been anything important enough. For me to get out of the car on a moving highway while the car is moving. I've had to pull over for like, you know, tires and shit before. Um, I've never really wanted a cool video of Lucifer, but not that bad. I've never been been like, hang on, you know, open my fucking door while the car is moving. Hang out of the window. What the hell? My, sis- my sister did that when we were kids, but not on purpose. Do, do we? She not... didn't. She didn't. She didn't get in the car all the way before yeah, my yes, mom drove yeah. off. And had one hand on the door and one hand on the door jam with her ass dragging through all the puddles. Could it rain that day? That's what happens. Those are not toys. How do you not instill the proper fear of a of an eighty mile per hour car into someone? <laughs> How are you missing that survival function? I personally blame Vin Diesel. <laughs> Thanks to those movies, everybody thinks cars are toys now. Well, but you are not Vin Diesel. So uh, we, we, we are we are in the middle of uh, of the apocalypse, and we have decided to send our children back to school in the apocalypse because um, we're absolutely insane. Yeah. And we think we can will things back to normal just by acting like things are fine. 
But the chillins is immune, Nash. But even in this, we have to, even the stupidity of sending the kids back in the first place, we have to, to double down on this shit. Then this is Florida, because of course it's fucking Florida. This is, there are certain types of people who, they know what they're doing. They know what how they're behaving. They, it's the I'm not touching you is their whole fucking personality. That's who they are. It's the dudes on Twitter who are like, I'm just asking questions. That's this motherfucker. Fifth grader asked to remove Hooters themed mask. An Orange County father says he doesn't understand why his fifth grade son was asked to remove his Hooters themed face mask at school. Really? He says his son has been wearing it for weeks. Quote, there's nothing offensive or derogatory about this mask, Greg Golba said. I don't think it's offensive at all. It's just a restaurant, Greg Golba said. And what do the Hooters mean in the name Hooters of the restaurant? Yeah. Are you served by owls? Is, is, yes. that, is that? Yeah, that, that, that's what it is. You fuck it. You, you know. Yeah. You stop this shit. We fucking know you know. Yeah. Playing this goddamn game. It's it, there's people in the in modern day have built their entire personality and behavior, interaction with human beings is, I'm not touching you. I'm not yeah. touching you. I'm not that, 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 that's who they are. There's nothing more to them. That's How it. How far can I push before consequences? And then when consequences, I victim. Yeah. 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 It's, it's you. And they get and they gave him another mask. They gave it's not like they took the kid's mask away. They gave right. him a different one. He put yeah, he Ian put on a second mask he had. So we had a spare. What's what's too far? Is 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 the uh is is a Playboy mask too far? Maybe, like, maybe we should all just send our Penthouse? It's to school and the one like that Trump lady had today with a giant dick hanging off it. Yeah, yeah. Could, get, what, could give him a dick mask. What's wrong with it? It's just, it's, yeah. it's, what was that? It's just anatomy. Fucking people. Well, let your me, daughter can't wear a tank top. Let, let me. Because that would ruin America. Let, let, let me tell you folks something. If this is you and you think you've hit upon some secret magic, we see your ass. We don't invite you to things. We don't want you near us. You were a plague. You are barely part of our society. We don't understand why rejects like you keep popping up. What quirk and, of your personality is, is failing here. And also you're not the victim because people don't like you because of your own actions. Yes. Yes. You, 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 you are an asshole. You just it, you and your stupid eight-year-old level of fucking aggression. Are you people really offending this, uh, defending this in the chat? I am very disappointed in all I know, of right? You don't fucking bring a Hooters mask to fucking school. Especially fifth grade. Eleven years old. Come on! Fucking... <laughs> What the fuck? Like, yes, that is objectively better than not wearing a mask at all. But, but like how much? You fucking, fuck, fucking, fucking, uh, this was, and I, I, this wasn't a matter of, well, he was wearing, what's wrong with a mask? This was deliberate. Yeah. Don't you guys grasp that shit? Right. They were trying to provoke the school. And the fact that nobody caught on for a while just meant that apparent, given the fact we're in the middle of a fucking pandemic, I think they had better fucking things to worry about. It's just they finally well, got another, around to y'all. There's another trend that you can find these on Etsy. There's a trend of people purposely making masks that are completely ineffective. Yeah, the mesh like ones. Making, right, or fishnet. 
Yeah. So they could be like, I'm wearing a mask. Look. Yeah. Like that's that's what it is. It's well, I'm gonna follow the letter of the law, but be a huge dick about it. Uh, there's there's people I love to walk up to and just sneeze in their faces. <laughs> Fair warning. I'm not touching you. Dance. Anyway. Well, let's let's some things never change, Tara. I, I can say this in the over the decade we've been doing this show. Some things never change. Fire, flame, pandemic. Nothing's gonna change them because there will always be someone putting a gun up their ass. Louisiana man was found to have a loaded pistol in his buttocks during a jail strip search. He pled guilty today to weapons and contraband charges. In a plea deal, Justin Savoy. Uh, Sa Savoy. Savoy. Oh, S O V O I E. I'm a guess Savoy. Savoy. Uh, cop to a pair of felony counts and a misdemeanor charge in connection with his arrest late last year. Um, Savoy received a five year suspended prison sentence. Um, Seen it right. Uh, Savoy was taken into custody following his sentencing. Police confronted Savoy and a female acquaintance after spotting suspicious activity at the woman's residence. During a pat down of Savoy, cops recovered a concealed handgun, marijuana, and drug paraphernalia. They also subsequently seized several other guns from his truck, as well as homemade silencers. He was then arrested and brought to the sheriff's office. It was during the intake that Savoy was subjected to a strip search and revealed he was in possession of. Another firearm! According to police, Savoy had a 25 caliber Titan pistol concealed in his rear end. Handgun, which has a 2.5 inch barrel and measures 4.375 inches long, was loaded! After Savoy's collar, the Gold Meadow Police told TSG, Who thought the 25 caliber pistol could be an assault weapon? Wow. Got that a comedian in the police department! So this I dude had been arrested, and they got like 20 ass guns off him already. Ass guns. Only one ass gun. Well, only one ass gun. Oh, it's, 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 like the, it's like the fucking scene in the, in the fucking Matrix with just <laughs> guns. Yeah. Yeah, why do you need all that in your truck? What are you doing? But during this whole thing, while the police were arresting him, and they're coming out with all these guns, 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 why couldn't he just say, hold it, officer? Oh, Why? He thought, he thought he was going to pull a fast one. He didn't think they were going to check. That's... My question is like, okay, I kind of get the gun up the vagina because the vagina is an incredibly elastic organ. Yeah. Like you can push a baby out of that thing. It can stretch to an enormous degree. How like... Maybe anuses are more elastic than I'm aware of. I don't well, watch I, a lot I of gay porn. I don't think this dude had it quite up there, just in his buttocks. But even still, that's not a like place. Weekend. That's not a place I want a bullet going. No. There's a lot of things around. There's a lot of things in that area that, that there's a you, lot of really important stuff down there. Yeah, and not just you know the fun stuff. Uh, stuff no. like you know kidneys. Those aren't easy to come by. Do you like digesting food? Yeah. Because everything down there, kind of important to that. Have you ever heard of sepsis? Because that's, mm. that's, that's fun. What? Fucking. <sighs> I just don't understand. I don't. He can already had cop to all of those guns. But this one, he just decided to be the one they find in the strip search. Because <laughs> he didn't on. forget it was there. You do not forget when you have a gun in your buttocks. I'm I feel pretty like sure. That's something you're constantly aware of. Yeah. Yeah. This fucking fucking moron. I mean, you are already in all of the trouble. Just yeah. get it out of the fucking way. Yeah. Don't don't be the, you're, now see now you've tried so to bring a gun is not going to be the difference between jail or not jail. But it is going to be uh, a concealment charge taking it into the jail that you've made it worse. You see how you've made it worse. 
Also, yes, probably a nasty infection because I'm pretty sure you didn't sterilize that thing. Not quite. It's like there's a certain percentage of humanity who regards their holes as an appendage. We're not built with pockets. No. And maybe that's a design flaw. Like, talk to God about it. <laughs> because Adam and Eve weren't supposed to know they were naked, so maybe he should have given them pockets. I mean, the marsupials got pockets. Right. Like, and they weren't supposed to know that they were naked, so presumably they were going to need pockets at some point. So, like, if you didn't intend for us to invent clothes, you should have given us some pockets. But he didn't. I mean, marsupials and you got... you take that up with him when you die. Marsupials got, you know, all the cool stuff. No, yeah. They lay eggs, so, you know, that whole pregnancy thing is sorted. They have fucking venom. Yeah. You know? We could have been marsupials, but no. All right. Final one tonight. Platypi have, like, barbs on their back legs. Does anybody remember the Dukes of Hazard? Did anyone actually watch that show? You did? Uh, I did. Yeah. But I could have birthed half our audience, so. <laughs> wow. That's an image. They're babies. Yeah, but that came across in a way different way. It's like, they can jerk off to it if they want. I long ago accepted that. Like I'm Lilith, way past the point of being upset by that. You're like Lilith, mother of monsters. <laughs> Accurate. She was a redhead. Um... I, I'm trying to find because it seemed like this was this the, the whole oeuvre of Dukes of Hazard was at least once a week the fucking General Lee was gonna fucking jump something. Yeah, yeah. I guess Knight Rider. And if it didn't, you were kind of pissed. Yeah, I guess Knight Rider might also be part of this, but I don't know how many people. That was the same about the same era. I, I watch Knight Rider. Yeah, I I, I don't I, I'm not quite sure the 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 frame of reference to present here but apparently it was, it was like this it was like the duke boys the car went oh and and then you heard waylon jennings and then free nice free. explanation yeah. of what was going on and then you went to commercial break yeah there are no commercial breaks in life sadly <laughs> um police arrest man after he jumps his car over drawbridge in detroit Police say yeah, they, well, that's a little more like the mummy returns. Police say they arrested a man Wednesday night after he jumped his vehicle across a drawbridge that was rising in Detroit. Operator of the bridge witnessed the man drive his car across the bridge and say the driver blew out all four tires and crashed into a gate after completing the jump. See, that's not the thing they show you on the TV. No, they don't show you what happens to the General Lee after that jump. Because, you know, you jump it and the car just hits and keeps going like nothing happened. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. You have just put all of the weight on those rubber tires. With force and impact. Pop! That's... Operator hit the emergency stop on the bridge as it was rising because he realized the driver of the vehicle wasn't stopping. There was a 26-year-old Alan Park man who was driving a Dodge sedan. <laughs> when he made the jump. I will bet you a shiny quarter it was a charger. Shortly after crashing the vehicle, the driver was arrested. Oh, apparently, I missed that. Where's, where's the story that said why he was doing this? Um, Here it is. Um, I had Not to Not just because it seemed cool? No, no, we, we actually... And there was a video, of it, which makes me sad, because it would have been cool to see. But turns out there it wasn't just because, you know, he was a big fan of... Uh, 70s stunt driving. He was doing whippets. There you go. I thought maybe he had to poop real bad. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 and this is another, there's a certain part of our audience who just said, what's a whippet? Um, yeah. Okay, see, when you were in, w back in the day before, you know, we were almost on the cusp of making marijuana legal. If you wanted to get high. Back in the pre-White Claw world. Um, one way to do this was via whipped cream cans. And some of you are saying how, and I'm saying no, 
because I like my monetization <laughs> on YouTube. Because we're bad internet parents, but we're not that bad internet parents. Just, uh, I am not familiar with whippets. They're, it's not a dog breed. I'll put it that well, way. Well, um, you know, Google is free. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it, it, the, the things we would do to get high back in the day. I never did whippets. I never did either. I knew people who did, which. But I never did anything to get high because my mom was a substance abuse counselor. So <laughs> the concept of drugs terrified me. Uh, well, that is. Uh... So. <laughs> so th th I guess this is another don't do drugs because he, he thought he could make it. That's an all. I mean, he made it. He just wrecked his fucking car and is going to jail. Yes, you don't get. I mean, that's not one of those things. There's like, okay, we'll see. You. Don't do it again. All right, we're gonna let you go because that was cool. <laughs> there is no that was fucking awesome clause. Yeah, like even Ant Man got fired, even though his boss thought he committed a cool crime. He still lost his job at the Baskin Robbins. <laughs> cool uh, crimes are still crimes. Uh. I just, I, knowing how much I had to pay for my car, knowing how much I don't want to pay for another car, you could not get me. I, with my, I'm so careful. Knowing how much I don't want to die. Have you ever had the nightmare where you drive your car off a bridge? No. Because I have many times. No, I haven't actually. I am very afraid of heights. And literally every time I have to, every time I'm the driver of a car going over a bridge, I don't know if other people get this, like you suddenly don't trust yourself. And the whole time I'm driving over that bridge, I'm white knuckling it because I'm convinced that some weird part of my brain will take over and jerk the wheel and make me drive off the bridge. That's what the deal is, is that she can sleep and I drive. I mean, I, I, I I'm, you, there used to be a bridge here long time ago um it was called the cooper river bridge um it was built like early 20th century it was two lanes and it was you drove across that bridge just the sensation of driving across that bridge it you were like right now you could see the water over there you could feel it moving like I heard they were gonna tear it down. And I like, oh, one more time. I gotta do I gotta drive over it just for posterity's sake. And I did, and I was like, they need to tear that fucker down. That needs to go. Um So yeah, I you, you could not get me to I mean I guess I'm weird that I'm like, you're like, I don't wanna die, and I'm like, man, I don't want to go into debt. Shit. <laughs> Which is worse. <sighs> that is that is so American culture right there. Yeah. Like, damn, you know, I could get dying is dying is easy. Compound yeah, interest is, is terrible, but dead. Jesus. Compound interest is hard. Um. So, yes, yeah, yeah, that's the first thing. People that will watch this on YouTube from overseas and be like, I don't understand. <laughs> you don't. It's it's because you it's, live in countries that function. <laughs> yeah. Capitalism has destroyed us. Um. I guess the first thing we learned this week is um, it's not worth it, no matter how cool it is. Do, do you really? It's either a tombstone or your credit rating is shit. Pick one. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, don't, don't, don't fucking. You're not. You're not Bo and Luke. No. You're not Michael Goddamn Knight. Jesus Christ. You're not even Dean Winchester, really. Um. We have, we, we, I don't think we've learned this. We, this is remedial at this point. Don't put guns up your butt. I, you know, I've been doing this so long that it we've done so many of these stories. It takes me a minute to stop and realize that I never in my life dreamed that I would have to say, don't put guns in your butt more than once in my entire life. Like, and what happens yet, if you sit wrong? 